What's up, guys? Welcome back. I start broadcasting. Coming back to you guys again here today, again with the 2002 racing game. We are race number five here at Darlington. If you guys haven't checked out the previous videos, make sure you guys go and check those out. Um, 59 laps here. Going to be a well. I don't know. Consider it long. Maybe not. Not sure. Not sure how fast the lap times are here. But uh, super excited. Kyle Larson, fresh off his second win. Um, at Atlanta, um, he also obviously won Daytona, Bubba Wallace winning Rockingham, and Truex winning Vegas, the four winners in the first, um, three winners in the first five or four races, um, race number five here at Darlington, super excited to get this thing underway, we don't have any extra entries like Zane Smith, Chandler Smith, they're not racing this week, um, you guys can see the entry list right here. Go through practice. What kind of lap times are you going to put down? Not normal. 29s. Bowman at the top of the board early. Already to second. Bowman's been kind of quiet to start off this season. Looks pretty quick to open up here. Nine car struggling. Harvick struggling. Down in 22nd and 23rd. Kozlowski's been about 19th most of this season. Very interesting. He's been struggling a little bit. Ty Gibbs, man. He finds a way to eat out of top 10 <laughs> virtually every week. He's top 10 in points, but I feel like we never talk about him. Sitting right there in 11th in practice. Scroll down the list. Josh Balicki in the 78 again. Cody Ware back in the 51. J.J. Yaley back in the 15. Eric Almarola, yikes, 35th. Again, top five at Daytona. Keep mentioning it because that's probably going to be his highlight of the season. Struggling here. And he's been struggling really since Daytona. Um, him and, and Ryan Priest, the worst two cars last week. The only two cars to go a lap down. Almarola could end up repeating that. Priest 27th, a little better. Briscoe. Um, then Harvick up there, 13th. Um, Elliott has not gotten much faster, still 20th. Amarola jumped up to 22nd. Very interesting. Qualify. Oh, <laughs> I say that, and then Kozlowski jumps to the top of the board. Byron, Blaney, Logano, three forwards in the top four. Bell, Truex, Hamlin, all the Gibbs cars, 7th, 8th, 9th. Then Reddick, 10th. Larson, 11th. All right, here we go. Qualifying, this really matters come race time. And Larson collects his third pull of the year. Goodness. Three pulls in five races for Larson. And um, did he win both races he was on the pull for? I'm not sure. Two pulls. This is his third pull, trying to get his third win. Bell, Hamlin, Logano, Truex, Reddick, all those guys right there. Gibbs inside the top ten. Kozlowski, 11th. Byron all the way to 13th. Dylan, it's been a horrible start to the season for him. Briscoe's DNF'd a lot. Briscoe down in 32nd. Gonna do warm up. Another hour. And we're gonna get right into the race. Blaney to the top of the board. Blaney's been pretty good in practice and in warm up this season. He's been pretty good in the race too. He's not he's not having a bad season, but almost won Atlanta. He was right there. Almost. Gibbs, Byron, Truex, Elliott, top five. It's weird. Elliott struggled there in the first practice. Top five in this one. Kozlowski winning the first practice. Qualified eleventh. Looks like he's got a good car, because now he's fifth on the board, fourth fifth. Yeah, fifth on the board. Interesting to see. They're into a new second bracket now. 28 nines. The pull, 29-4, and then only a 29 flat there, so. 29-0-14 won the first practice. And good enough for fourth here, so. You guys ready? Ready? 
Here we go. Race number five. And again, the five car on the front row. 59 laps. Before this one gets underway. Pretty good. Here we go. Coming to the green flag. Green flag's in the air. Again, Larson going to lead you underway. We are racing at Darlington. Down into that first corner. Kyle Larson out front. We do it every time. Got to go spectator mode. Got to watch that whole field for something crazy to happen off of turn two. It happened to Rockingham. You know, with the Justin Haley, Austin Sindrick crash. Larson trying to get away. Let's go back in the field. Nine car right around 13th. Alex Bowman, Bubba Wallace right there. I think LA is losing spots on the bottom. No, he's, you yeah, know, lost one spot, 14th to Bowman. Jeez, Briscoe, man. Jeez. Very cloudy, isn't it, here at Darlington? cars all together there of course Larson out front then you got Bowman Byron Elliott 12 13 14 so Kyle Larson obviously got some good equipment under the hood of the five car going for his third win man already only driver with multiple wins Logano's had a pretty good season so far this year. I can't lie. I mean, running fourth right now, he seems to be top five just about every week. Kyle Busch, he's been solid. Truex, obviously a win already this season. Logano, Busch, Chastain, they have not won yet. Believe it or not, Hamlin has not won yet as much as he feels like he should have, as he probably should have won Rockingham. Keep saying it. Caution's out. Yellow, we have a Caution. Ooh, the 10, 21, 10. Oh, I think there is some damage to, yeah, there's some damage to the door of the 21, and what is going on? The 10 car is done. See, so just rammed into the pace car. Hopefully nobody runs into him. No, oh, yeah, that car is done. That car is destroyed, but that's not what brought out the caution. The 21. Let's go back and see what happened to him. Oh, yeah. He was. Oh, it was the 21 and the 10. Coming off of turn number two. The 42 into the 10. Across the nose of the 21. Both of them slam the inside fence. Noah Gragson, obviously, being the culprit of that one. Taking out the 21, taking out the 10. Both of them could have and would have went on. 
And then the tank car kills himself. Runs right into the back of the pace car. And that car is done. I'm sorry, we gotta ride along. This is pathetic. Oh no, that wasn't him. That was the pace car entirely. Pace car just came right up, destroyed that 10 car. He's definitely done. Yeah, you can tell the 10 car is done. Noah Gregson into the 21 and the 10, ultimately bringing out the caution. Kyle Larson had a pretty good gap. It looks like he still does. Did everybody else go down pit road? And the five didn't. So the five is on old tires. Yeah. The five is the only one. As everybody came down pit road. The five didn't. He could be a sitting duck. They are only a couple laps into the race. Not sure. But yeah. Interesting. Again, Eric Amarola done, DNF'd. Not good for the 10 car, obviously. Stuart Haas really struggling this season so far. Ryan Priest, 27th. Briscoe, 31st. Harvick trying to do what he can in that equipment, running 18th right now, and that's not great, especially to be the best of your organization. That's not good for Stuart Haas. Harvick, top 10 in points, though. Top 5, I believe he's 5th in points or 6th in points, somewhere around there. So Harvick is having a good season. Um, not a great showing so far today. Austin Dillon up to 17th needs a good run. Almondinger has been good this season. Um, he seems to be running top 15 just about every week. I can't lie. That 16 car seems to be really good. We'll see if he can't point, maybe win his way into the playoffs. We go to a road course. I only imagine that car is going to be very quick, very good. Um, AJ Almondinger could win his way into the playoffs that way. Um. Still under caution here. Lights are still on the pace car. No lap car, so it'll be a single file restart. Ty Gibbs, 12th. Almondinger, we just talked about 13th. Sendrick up to 14th. Byron Busher, Austin Dillon, Harvick, Justin Haley needs a good run. Bell struggling, 20th. Suarez, 21st. Elliott, 22nd. Stenhouse, McDowell. <laughs> Hasn't flipped in a few weeks. I'm getting a little worried. He flipped the first two races of the season. Cody Ware of the 25th. Josh Balicki. There's Ryan Priest. There's the culprit of that previous crash. Noel Gregson. Yaley Gillen. Briscoe. Ty Dillon. Jones. LeJoy. Harrison Burton with a little bit of damage to the door. The tank car should be right behind him, but just got wiped out by the pace car. I wish that wouldn't happen, but it does. It's not the first time the pace car has taken out a couple cars this year. The pace car is kind of wild when it, you know, comes out, but. Right along with Ross Chastain. Lights are off the pace car. We'll ride along with Chastain. We'll switch the camera angles a little bit when they get the green. See what the green flag is like from Ross Chastain's point of view. Again, running sixth. Larson, Hamlin, Logano, Bush, Truex, your top five. Going to ride along with Ross Chastain. Going to restart sixth. Pace car's off. And they will get the green this time.
Green flag. Got a pass for the lead. Danny Hamlin underneath the five of Larson. Not going to get there. Kyle Busch misses the corner a little bit. Shurik's going to get under him. Ross now looking for the spot. Lap 13 of 59. Larson's been fast. We know how good Denny Hamlin is here, though. There from Joey Logano's perspective in third. Still some notables there. Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott, 20th, 21st. Even Suarez in 22nd. Um, Harvick, 18th. Makes room for guys like A.J. Allmendinger in 12th. Austin Sendrick in 13th. Of course, you got Bowman up to 8th. Running very well, Blaney. Kozlowski's up to 7th. Battle for the lead starting to heat up. Denny Hamlin. Goes low under Larson, does not have the drive in, is forced to check up. Now the 22 is all over the 11. Hamlin and Gang going to look underneath the five of Kyle Larson. Just can't make that pass. Logano is not on the 11 either to try and take advantage of it. Truex on the 22. Kyle Busch right there. Logano now on the 11, pulled out a line, but lost his momentum, not going to make the pass. We know it's hard to pass at Darlington. We saw a ton of passing, great racing for the lead at Atlanta. I believe it is a playoff race, that's great. Um, it was an insane race, passing for the lead, nine car breakaway, it was absolutely insane. And then we come to Darlington, virtually no passing in the 11 again on the 5, the 19 on the 22. Now the 19 looked, doesn't have the run, can't make the pass. Now I remind you, Kyle Larson didn't pit under that caution. He's virtually the only car, and he's... Well, holding more than his own out front. Small gap between him and the 11. The 5 does not seem off the pace at all. Uh, everybody else felt like they needed to come down and get tires, maybe make an adjustment. But the 5 stayed out. The only car to stay out. 
I don't know if, if anybody took rights or maybe just gas. Maybe they can make it to the end and maybe Larson is screwed. I, I'm not sure. We'll see uh, later in the race if everybody has to pit or if, you know, Larson's the only one. You know, we'll see if tires make a difference because, you know, we saw Brad Keselowski, Alex Bowman jump a bunch of guys on pit road. Now they're up to 7th and 8th and they haven't lost that those spots. So they're running well. And that caution obviously going to benefit those guys. Now you have guys like Elliott, Bell, Suarez lost a bunch of spots. Um, can they get it back? That's the question. A lot of cars under a blanket here. You guys can see a lot of cars under a blanket. Eric Jones, Chase Briscoe, Corey LaJoy struggling. Harrison Burton obviously involved in that accident. Damage to the door of that car. Probably going to struggle the rest of the race. But it's the finishes that count, the finishes that matter. Kyle Busch challenging the 19 car. The 11 challenging the 5. Can he make that pass? I just don't know if he can do it. 22 on the 11. Not going to get there. 19 big run. The 11 hanging right there with the 5 of Larson just cannot get by him. As we look through the field here, nothing's really changing a whole lot. Looks like, uh, well, really looks like nothing's changing a whole lot, quite honestly. It looks like Gillum lost a few spots. Just a few of the small things. His running order is not changing a whole lot. We see a big gap between Michael McDowell and Cody Ware. It's solid six seconds there. And Cody Ware looks like he's holding up the rest of the field as Priest, Gregson, they're on him. Can't get by him. Stenhouse. Um, Stenhouse is top 10 in points. He's off to a great start this season. Obviously, 27th right now. Not going to cut it for him, but he's off to a great start this season in the standings. This is really big, though, for. I mean, Almondinger, Sendrick, if they can continue this and actually get top 12s, top 13s. Ty Gibbs, again, just consistency. Uh, if he finishes 11th, he'll stay probably close to where he's at in points, which is like 7th or 8th. Like, um, maybe point his way into the playoffs if, if Ty Gibbs is good enough to do that. But uh, Harvick down in 18th. Um, you know, top 5 in points. Hamlin is on. Larson has a run. Not going to get it, though. Not quite going to get it. As we are a lap away from halfway, and we got contact in the front of the field. The 11 into the 22. Logano sideways into the wall. He's around. He's wrecking an Almondinger. I jinxed him. Oh, Harvick's in it. Oh, my goodness. AJ Almondinger's in it. Kevin Harvick's in it. Joey Logano running top five, and he's going to DNF for the second week in a row. I have to add. Oh my goodness, I think, I don't know what happened, Logano just free slid into the corner and both colleague cars are tore up, you see Haley's in it, and Almondinger, Almondinger not happy, Kevin Harvick are wrinkled front, oh, all, hey, teammates 
wrecking each other under caution. Tyler Reddick's in it. Oh my gosh. Reddick looks like he's done. Jones is in it. Was having a bad day. JJ Yaley is in it. A lot of cars. Oh, we got more contact now. Reddick and Logano dooring each other. All these guys are done. Oh my gosh. Now it's at the front of the field. Third place wrecking each other like that. And we know there's already been history between the 22 and the 11. All these guys are kind of going crazy under caution here. Not sure what's going on here. Briscoe looks like he's got damage. Jones! Oh my gosh, I thought he was going to kill somebody. Almondinger. Scaring me there. Not sure what these guys are doing, but... we got to go back and watch that. Denny Hamlin. What was he, in the third, second spot? He was in the second spot. Took out a lot of good cars. Enters into the corner. The 22 to his outside. Contact throws the 22 into the wall. Truex is in it, too. Oh, man. And then he collects Kislowski, Reddick. There's Almondinger. Then Harvick, Justin Haley. I think Elliott might be in it. Yep, Elliott was in it, but it looks like he'll be fine on the damage part of it. Oh my goodness. Oh, we had more contact. The 15 and the 78 wrecking each other. Ultimately hitting the 77. And both Spire cars are in it. I think Harrison Burton will be fine. My goodness. And with that being said, Ty Gibbs is second. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Joey Logano is going to DNF again. I'm not sure. I said two weeks in a row. I don't think it's two weeks in a row, but it is two weeks in like the last three weeks. Like Joey Logano going to DNF again. Martin Truex Jr. is going to be done. There's a lot of guys is going to be done. Harvick, Reddick's going to be done. See JJ Yaley. AJ Allmendinger, man. Oh. I was just saying, if he can close it out, finish 12th. And then he gets caught up in a wreck. It's only going to add to Harvick's. Not a great day. Now it's going to be not a. Well, it's going to be even worse of a day. Um, a lot of these guys. Stenhouse can end up salvaging a pretty good day. Cody Ware inside the top 20 because of all this. Larson back to 11th. And now Gibbs is out front. Ty Gibbs, William Byron, Denny Hamlin. Incredible. It's insane. Bowman managed to get through that wreck. He's going to restart fourth. Says Kyle Busch is fourth, but I don't see him, so I assume maybe he pitted or something. He's going to go to the back, and it looks like the back is going to be top 30 still, but, oh, man. Yeah, no, I don't even know who to put the blame on. Logano was to the outside of Hamlin, kind of turned down Hamlin. I guess you can say he doored him. I don't know. We just know the 11 and 22 don't like each other. They've had history before, and then they collide on here. Takes out the 22, takes out Martin Shruex, Kevin Harvick, A.J. Allmendinger. Some other guys, Keselowski was in it. Of course, both collar cars, Haley, Chase Elliott was in it. Um, of course, Keselowski, Eric Jones, then both Spire cars. You saw J.J. Yaley's done. A lot of guys involved in this one. Though. You see Kyle Busch starting to drop, so I'm not sure what's going on with him. But, hey, it's been really hard to pass today. So the fact that Ty Gibbs is out front... Now, granted, there's going to be 26 to go, 25, 26 to go when they uh, get the green. It's going to have William Byron, Denny Hamlin, even Bowman, you know, Blaney, some fast guys behind him. But Gibbs has also run well today. So if Ty Gibbs wins his way into the playoffs this early in the season. We may not see much of a points battle because we already know Bubba Wallace did it. And if we have too many, you know, 10th to 20th place drivers winning, 
not only is it going to force guys like Hamlin, Logano to win, and Bush, but could end up not having much of a points battle um, for, for the playoffs. But Ty Gibbs out front, is he going to get it done? William Byron looking for his first win. Same with Hamlin. Bowman's been off to a slow start this season, running fourth. Blaney, Bell, Wallace, Chastain, Austin Dillon inside the top 10, and Larson probably should have pitted earlier. Now he's back to 10th. I imagine he had to take tires. A lot of these guys probably didn't. When we get the green, it's going to be 26 to go. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. Byron is on Gibbs. Byron already looking underneath Gibbs, but Hamlin could get to his outside. We could see a similar incident with Logano and Hamlin. If it would work out the same way, Hamlin would have got the short end of the stick. Ty Gibbs out front. Top three driving away. Can Ty Gibbs hold on? Going to be coming at 23 to go. William Byron, Denny Hamlin, we saw how hard it is to pass here. I, I don't, I'm not convinced anybody's going to get by him. I'm not convinced. We saw how hard it was for them to get by Larson. Granted, Larson's probably a little quicker. Byron's going to try and make a move underneath the 54. Contact! Almost wrecked each other off that corner. Very close. Byron going to lose some momentum. Hamlin not going to be able to take advantage, but it is going to allow Bowman and a couple of those other guys to catch up here. That was very close for them, both of them wrecking off of that corner. Byron had the position, slid up, and about took himself and Ty Gibbs out. You see Bowman, Blaney. I think that's Bubble Wall. It's just hanging back there. Byron going to look to the inside. I think Byron might be capable of making this pass. He's at least able to make different moves and get a little closer than what Denny was to Larson, which tells you the 54 is probably not as strong as the 5 car is. The 5 is only up to ninth. Remember, he restarted 10, so he got by Austin Dillon. That's it. Byron going to be underneath the 54 off the corner. That 24 is good. That 24 is real good. He's able to make a, a move that I w wasn't see capable out of Hamlin. And Hamlin now under fire by the driver he's had history with, the 48 of Bowman. Is there contact off of two? A little bit. A little bit. Byron looking underneath Bowman again, or Gibbs again. Not going to make the move, though. I think he's just testing the waters out a little bit. Coming to 19 to go. Byron knows he's going to run out of time. He knows it's hard to pass here. He wants to make that move whenever he can. Whenever available. Talked about how quiet Ty Gibbs has been, but how sneaky good he's been this season. Top 10 in points and leading at Darlington ahead of Byron, Hamlin. They've both been pretty good this season. Hamlin's been a contender virtually every race. Now 
Now Hamlin going to get by William Byron. Was able to get to his outside. And here comes Bowman. Bowman ain't going to get there. And next thing you know, Denny Hamlin to second. Can Hamlin run down his teammate, Ty Gibbs, and get by him in the next 18, 16, 17 laps now? Hamlin's been quick. Hamlin's been fast. He's been good all year. He has not been able to get a win yet. He's looking off this corner. He is going to get side by side. He's going to get side by side with the 54. He's going to make the, the pass easily off the corner. And that 11 car is good. That tells you the 54 does not have under the hood of what that 5 car does. You can see him in the distance. I don't think Larson's going to get there. But that Hamlin, Hamlin's good. That car is fast, was able to get by the 54. I didn't think it was going to happen. And now Byron's going to have to try again for second. And Byron was hoping he could have made that move. Denny Hamlin could be about to get his first win now. Denny Hamlin by the 54 for the race lead. The first pass for the lead we've seen all day. Coming to 15 to go. And he's driving away from the 54. He's, he's even got a small gap on Byron. Pretty big gap on Byron. Are they racing back there? No, they just kind of fell off a little bit. Gibbs, Gibbs. Hendrick, Hendrick, Penske, Gibbs, Trackhouse, 2311, Hendricks, RCR, your top 10 right now. Austin Dillon needs a good run. He needs his 10th place finish. He's run good all day. See if he can't close out the deal. Daniel Suarez has been like around 11th in points, so for him to finish 11th would be good for that team and to try and point their way into the playoffs. Yes, we're talking about playoffs this early in the season. Still 20 after this race. It'd be 21 races left. Before the playoffs. And I think Hamlin's smooth sailing unless a caution or something happens. Hamlin is in a very good position here. He was able to get by the 54 clearly faster. He was able to get by the 24. He was trying to drive away. I mean, he's not able to pull too far away, but he's, he's got a gap on him too. And they haven't been able to get back to him. The 54 getting a little close. And they are coming up on lap traffic. That will be big. You see that right ahead of them. Caution's out. There it is. Harvick's got damage, but he was also in the first incident. Oh, we got a wreck up ahead. Elliot. Ooh, Stenhouse. All right, well, that's where it's at. Off the corner. Did it happen ahead of him? Yeah, it did. It was even happening ahead of him. Yeah, it looks like the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse was probably the, the beginning part of this wreck. Oh, it was. He was side-by-side side trying to make a pass on Cody Ware. And it looks like coming off the corner, they got together into the wall, spinning them both around. And then from there, looks like everybody came piling in. Looks like most of them made it through without an issue. Maybe they just spun around a little bit. Hmm, those guys might have some damage. Ty Dillon, Elliot's not had a good day. Tell you what, that's not what Denny wanted to see. Is he going to find another way to lose a race? I think it's possible. They're going to go green with not too many laps left. Obviously, you want to stay out here. Not sure if we're going to have any takers for pit road. Not 
None so far. Nope, no takers. So they're coming to 10 to go this time by. Probably a few more laps under caution. Ricky Stenhouse probably going to be very upset because he was actually going to salvage a pretty good day out of that. And a slower car in the 51 of Cody Ware. I don't know, Stenhouse did kind of slide up into him, put him in the wall, so it's not really on Cody Ware. But I guess if you're Stenhouse, you're like, man, you could have gave me the spot. You could have moved. But I don't know. I'm not convinced. Not sure. But yeah, you know that's going to be frustrating for uh, the 47 again. He's like 10th in points, actually. He's running very well. And um, that's obviously not what he wanted to happen. Very, very, very obviously not what he wanted to happen. But Chase Elliott's going to hurt his day. Um, Ty Dillon. A couple other guys. I think Josh Balicki was in that. Maybe not. No, he's all 17th. It looks like Balicki was fine, but... Hey, 17th in a lift-fast motorsports car? Granted, there's a lot of DNFs here, but... True X Logano, Reddick, some big names. Yaley, Omendinger, Haley, Almarola. Two colleague cars, man. I keep saying it. Both their cars were running inside the top 20. I think Haley was 19th. Omendinger was 12th. And a wreck that happened in 3rd takes them both out. Super frustrating. Obviously, you can see it ruined Kozlowski's day, Harvick. And I guess Kyle Busch was in it because we saw him running around with no hood. Um, so, obviously, it was bad enough they had to take the hood off the car. But uh, with that being said, hopefully the lights will go off the pace car this time. They should. We'll have an eight-lap shootout. It'll be nine to go this time by. Yep. Eight to go. We're going to have eight to go when we come by next time. Bye. The uh, pace car's lights are off. Danny Hamlin's still looking for that first win. He's been fast all season, trying to maybe even overtake Larson in the point lead. If Larson finishes bad enough, Hamlin might be able to do that. Um, Ty Gibbs in second, his teammate, looking for a great run. William Byron, Alex Bowman. Ryan Blaney, your top five. Blaney's been very good so far this season. Bell rebounding to sixth. Chastain, Bubba Wallace, Kyle Larson, Austin Dillon looking to get a top ten. Suarez, Busher, Michael McDowell. Ryan Priest up to 14th. Noah Gregson, Sindrick looking for a good day. Josh Balicki, Harrison Burton, Eric Jones, Todd Gill, and then Kyle Busch. You can see without that hood, too much damage. LaJoy, Stenhouse involved in that wreck. Cody Ware, they're together. <laughs> Chase Elliott involved in that wreck. Briscoe, Ty Dillon, Kozlowski, both them without a hood. Kevin Harvick. Those are just the ones that are left, but we are coming out of turn number four. The pace car should dip off here any second. There he goes. Denny Hamlin, Ty Gibbs going to lead you to green. It's going to be an eight-lap shootout for Denny Hamlin. Try and pick up his first win of the season. He's been fast, second in points. Solid 21 points behind Larson. He won't make all that up today, but more than likely going to make up quite a bit. Kyle, or Denny Hamlin leads you to green. Eight to go. Hamlin knows how good his car is. He passed William Byron under green. He passed Ty Gibbs under green. We haven't seen a pass for the lead all day till then he did that. Seven to go. We know how good Denny Hamlin is here. He's won so many times in real life at Darlington, trying to do it today to pick up his first win. Kyle Larson was very fast. You can say he dominated this race. Ty Gibbs looking for the mat, looking for the pass. 
He's not going to be able to get it done. William Byron looking to the outside of Byron. Not going to get there. Gibbs going to remain in second. Hamlin, six to go. Can he get it done? I'm convinced Ty Gibbs will be able to pull his way into the playoffs if uh, if he can't pick up a win here today or later in the season. Ty Gibbs, he's been very fast all year. He's been top 10. I think he's like 7th in points, running 2nd here. Five laps to go. Hamlin putting a gap on second and third. Caution comes out at this point. The race would probably end. If not, it'd be a one-lap shootout, but it'll more than likely end if a caution is to come out. Denny Hamlin coming to three to go. Gibbs, Byron, they're there. I think Alex Bowman, Blaney, they just struggle to keep up with this lead pack. Larson has lost the spot to Austin Dillon now. Interesting. Coming in two to go this time by Gibbs. I don't think he's quick enough to get by Hamlin. I just don't think he is. We're going to find out here. Two to go. Denny Hamlin, a solid gap now over Ty Gibbs. William Byron, right, maybe a tenth, tenth and a half, two tenths even behind Gibbs, trying to build a run. Gained a little bit of time down the back straightaway, but we're going to get the white flag this time by. The race will be official. I believe the race is official any, any time under five to go, but I'm not sure. I guess it depends on the length of the caution. But Ty Gibbs, white flag, is he going to be able to get by Hamlin? I think this is Hamlin's race to lose. He's been quick. He's been fast all year. And I can say for another half a lap, Denny Hamlin is winless this season. Ty Gibbs trying to say something about it. They are leaving Byron. And throughout this final set of three and four, Hamlin pulling away from Ty Gibbs. Going to come out of turn number four. Denny Hamlin's going to win at Darlington. Getting it done. And finally, pulled off a win. Larson lost another spot to 11th. And this one's over. Denny Hamlin, going to be your fourth winner in five races this season. Tough days for Truex. Logano involved in Rex. Larson did not benefit from that caution, but Hamlin, Gibbs, Byron, Bowman, Blaney all did. Top five. Gibbs up to third in points with uh, on the old standings here. Crystal next. Oh my gosh. Definitely going to be some cautions for that one and definitely going to be some DNFs for that one. I promise you that much. Tyler Reddick has DNF'd so much this season, but still manages to crack top 20 in the old standings. We'll see where he cracks in the, the new standings, but Hamlin and Larson making a pretty big gap over Gibbs, who has a pretty big gap over Truex, and then it's pretty close from there. You know, 69 points in the old uh, season standings is not a lot and they're only 69 points between fourth and 14th
with that being said, that's going to do it. See you guys at Bristol. Peace.